Uh, my name is Mark Greenberg. I'm the director of the Interface Assembly on Homelessness and Housing, and I'm very pleased to be here today, and I really appreciate the um, service and the blessing uh, being provided by the Interface Center to bring faith leaders together to address the issue of homelessness and to look at how we can work with our homeless brothers and sisters directly, how we can understand what the city is doing, we can understand what our nonprofits are doing, and how we can really work to change the circumstances under which people are homeless and at risk of housing. I'm Carol D'Angelo, Sister of Charity of New York, and uh, my official title is uh, Director of the Office of Peace, Justice, and Integrity of Creation. And I was really glad I came because there was a lot of connecting today and pleasantly surprised. I know that two of the uh, organizations that the Sisters of Charity sponsor, there were representatives from uh, both those organizations today, the New York Foundling and uh, LEFSA, Life Experience Faith Sharing Association. And it's great to know that uh, those two organizations have people working to help address the, the homelessness the homelessness problem. For me, why it's been used, um, very useful um, is that uh, personally as a congregation, our, we're aging. We have a lot of you know, older members. Our median age is 79 years of age. Yeah. And so we are looking at uh, ways we can continue our ministry um, and our solidarity with those living or affected by poverty. Um, because we can't be out there in the trenches the way we were there many years ago. And so um, we think it's really very important to address these issues through systemic change. And so when uh, a, a gathering happens like this and there's a platform that's going to be formed and we're calling our elected officials to accountability, um, I'm, I, I guess I feel honored and privileged to be part of a group that's doing that because it's only through the networking and collaboration that I, I think um, we can continue to address these, these grave evils. Poverty is an evil and homelessness is an evil. There's many and we need to do it together. My name is Adam Bacco and I am the co-founder of the Reciprocity Foundation. We work with homeless youth in New York City. Uh, we provide them with uh, holistic services, help them to essentially get in touch with their calling and then translate that calling into a specific career and a sustainable life, meaning and purpose. In terms of being here today, I really appreciate coming to gatherings like this one, especially because there is a faith component to it. I think that if we're serious about youth homelessness, we really need to pay attention to our spiritual values. You know? It's not enough to look at policies and other things. We need to pay attention to what is the heart of the matter, you know, which is the dignity of each person. I'm here today to learn more about how I can help them further. There's an agency here that maybe might be able to pick them up in the morning, take them to another location, and try to get them the mental health or the detox or something that they really need. I also learned today that there's many programs for people like myself who maybe are not earning a lot of money and need some help with their rent or other programs that are available for mm -hmm. food or you know other necessities that people need. So I am really blessed that I came today, and I want to thank the Interfaith Center and everyone here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Henry Lahada, and I'm with Youth Ministries for Peace and Justice. We're located in the South Bronx. And I'm here, or we're here because uh, we do deal with uh, quite a bit of homelessness. Uh, we try to provide as much advocacy as we can. Uh, we have quite a few people coming into the office uh, dealing with eviction problems, immigration problems, and we try to address it the best way we can. And being here gives us a little bit more reinforcement on what we're doing, gives us a little bit more information on what's out there. And just networking with uh, the people that are here gives us uh, more resources also. Hi, my name is James Branch. I'm a representative for Clean Mind, Clean Hearty Hampton Group, I am for a Cure. I see today that there still is a need for more of the uh, community to become more friendly with the people within the community and be willing to help them out. They also need to, you know, expand on the role of um, more job creation and allowing the people to become more self-reliant as far as how they handle their particular problems. Sister Mary Nerney with Steps to End Family Violence. Yeah. Sister Mariam Fusamadine with Sister Mary.
I think it's it's very good. It's wonderful array of speakers and information about homelessness. What we really need to do, though, is to talk about housing and about uh, how we can create uh, affordable housing, but a, what I call a more affordable housing, a really affordable housing uh, market in New York City. So it's a wonderful, uh, I feel, uh, a good first step, a good step in the right direction, because I think we will need all of the information that's been uh, really given as well as all of the pieces of paper that we've been able to gather but I think we also need to really talk about this the real issue which is called uh, housing the problems of housing mm -hmm. and the intensity of that for women that are suffering uh, with domestic violence and coming through their shelters is a lot different than coming out of the regular homeless shelter so it's a lot more barriers for them as well with finances or even location so as she said, yeah, it's really important. That would be a really nice issue to somehow find um, connected to this conversation. Well, I, I appreciate the whole array of expertise that's been brought together here today, uh, both service providers and advocates working on policy issues. There's a lot of expertise here today and a lot of networking going on, and that's going to help all of us in our work together. I'm uh, Gary Ireland. I'm on the leadership of John Hayes Presbyterian Church, and uh, we have a, a robust ad advocacy and outreach program for our homeless guests. And when I came here, what I was hoping to learn was some, some skills at how to better serve our, our guests and, and get them to the next step as opposed to just uh, feeding them. And, and what I got is um, so much more. I got the camaraderie of, of the community, mm -hmm. and I also got the, the opportunity to, to to learn from people that, that deal with uh, homelessness and, and similar guests on a daily basis. And what I've really learned is that you have to treat each person as an individual. Andrew Wilk from Habitat for Humanity uh, in New York City. Uh, titles a mouthful work at the Faith and Community Relations Association. Habitat is working with the Interfaith Assembly on homelessness and housing, as well as uh, ultimately ANHD, Association of Neighborhood Housing Development, and a number of other folks. And the, the idea is to make sure the incoming mayoral administration has a comprehensive plan to deal with housing, from public housing, affordable rental and home ownership, uh, on to affordable emergency and supportive housing, and uh, as one of the panelists said, also extremely low-income housing. And the reason is because uh, Mayor Bloomberg's new marketplace housing plan is going to obviously sunset once he leaves office, and so we want to make sure that housing is at the top of the priority list um, for the next uh, mayor. The Innovative Assembly and Habitat for Humanity are partnering this year to uh, kind of put legs and give life to the to last year's uh, covenant uh, platform and, uh, that Habitat for Humanity put together, which was calling on all candidates for mayor to produce a comprehensive plan to address homelessness and affordable housing. People are signing the scroll, and the scroll itself um, is kind of representative of some of our faith traditions. Uh, scrolls used to carry important messages, and so we want to carry the message as a faith community that uh, we want the next mayor to really prioritize housing. So the end goal is to uh, roll out the scroll and kind of a dramatic symbol of, of faith and solidarity um, from the steps of City Hall and have a press conference um, with um, you know the mosaic of faith traditions there speaking up for affordable housing in the city. The, the goal is um, to move from simply hearing the, the, the pretty promises that mayoral candidates make to actually um, bringing uh, pressure to go along with the piety that faith communities have to make sure that these promises are actually implemented across the Department of Homeless Services, Housing and Preservation Development, and all the other agencies that are actually tasked with the day-to-day -day implementation of these goals.